tonight's video as you can see I'm going to be doing something that I have honestly been considering not doing on the channel but after seeing a few other ASM artists do this I thought it would be quite fun, quite interesting and maybe a little bit informative as well at the same time and that is we're going to do some scratch calls now, scratch cards are something that, honestly, I've never really bought because personally, I just feel like they're not truly worth it. I have uh, bought one before and I must quickly say that in the UK here, you have to be over 18 to buy them and redeem the prizes, which I am. So, in tonight's video, I have a array, an assortment of scratch cards that I went out and bought just for tonight's video to help you all relax, have a good time, and maybe um, <laughs> watch me get scammed, as I believe uh, scratch cards can be a little bit sometimes, but of course you can win money from them, so any money that I do uh, win tonight will go towards uh, funding the channel, so anyways, I hope you all do enjoy this video, and if you do, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a big thumbs up and uh, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see another part to this um, but without further ado let's get into the ones uh, I have bought here tonight so I thought I would start by showing you what I have bought so it was quite interesting buying these at the till uh, to check out the, the lady must have thought I was going a bit nuts, so I explained to her what I was doing, <laughs> um, and I have bought five, one, two, three, four, five of these one pound scratch cards. I have also bought three, one, two, three of these two pound scratch cards. I bought a little assortment these three pound ones, so we have one, two, I think they accidentally ripped this one, but oh well, and three of the three pound scratch cards. I also have two five pound scratch cards, which were the most expensive ones they sold, and um, I'm hoping, you know, we can maybe win something at least on those ones, because I'm not expecting to win anything at all, by the way, but I think just go through some of these. Hopefully we can win some things. And I have my little coin. Oops. <laughs> to scratch away on. That's a 50 pence piece. And uh, yeah, let's jump straight into this. So we'll rip these off one at a time. I do a little funny story about scratch cards. My brother actually gave me my very first one for Christmas one year, <laughs> which is a bit of a random Christmas present, I know, but I think he was just running out of ideas and it was a bit of a stocking filler. So, I think the age used to be 16 to buy scratch cards here in the UK. I might be making that up though. scratch cards, make sure you're doing it legally and responsibly in your own um, region. But without further ado, let's jump into these uh, one pound ones. So let's see how do these work. So, a hundred thousand pounds up for grabs by the looks of things. This is by the National Lottery here in the UK. Green symbols pay double. Double, double, double. It says down here in the bottom, match three identical black amounts to win one of those amounts, or match three identical green amounts to win double one of those amounts. So we have nine boxes. And also, what I like about scratch cards, and uh, this is probably one of my favorite things as a mathematician, it says your odds on the back, which I think they might legally have to do. 
So as you can see, it says overall odds are um, winning one in every 4.34 cards. So mathematically, we should win on at least one of these cards. So let's go through them and see if we do. So we'll start on this one here. So remember, we're trying to match three um, values. So let's see. Okay. So we have one pound. So it looks like they go along here. Oh, so that's a green one. It's quite tricky to see, but that's a one pound green and another one pound green. I might actually zoom in a little bit here for you all. They are quite small, so. We have a black four pound. So one pound, one pound, four pound. Oh, another black, four pound. If we get another black, four. So that's a 20, but it's black. So we need another black, four here, or a green one, in order to win. And unfortunately, it is a green 100. So first card down, and we have won nothing. <laughs> So I'll move on to the next one. Right. Let's go down the way this time. Green 5 up the top. Black 20 in the middle. And a black 1 at the bottom. Middle column. We have a black 1. And is that a green four? Okay, so it's not looking too great on this one either. I forget how much of a mess these cards make. I probably should have done it on a better surface than my carpet. Uh, black one, green five. So we need another black one here, but unfortunately... Nope, we get a black too, so card number two down, and still no wins. So let's go on to card number three here. Okay, so we have two black 1000s and a green 50. and a black 20. If we get a green 100, we win 200 pounds. Or if we get a black 1,000, we win 1,000 pounds. <laughs> but let's face it, we want black 50, green 10, and black 20. So again, card number three, and no wins. A couple near wins, though, if you would consider that a near win. Right, onto the fourth card. Let's do the column strategy again. So we have a black 40, a black 50, and a black 100,000. Second column. Black 100, black 100,000, green 4. Oh my gosh, if we get another black 100,000, we win 100,000. <laughs> there won't be though, that's just bait, so. Yeah, there we go, so. This card, another dud. No wins. 240s though. And the last one pound card, the last cheap one. A black 40, a black 100, a uh, black 1000, and a green 4. Another black 1000, black 40, and black 100. So if we get another black 1000, we win a thousand. 
thousand or a black forty, we went forty, which would actually be profit because I spent thirty five pounds overall on all of these. So green five, a hundred thousand and ten. So five one pound cards and no wins. So that's five pound down the drain. <laughs> But we've learned from them that the one pound ones aren't very good. But that brings us on to the two pound cards now, which I'm going to zoom back out on as I rip these up. Hopefully on these ones we'll get at least a win. So let's see how do these work. This shows how little I buy these, I have no clue how they work. So, multiplier went up to 10 times the prize. So, there's multiple games. So, game one find a diamond. So, there's that little symbol. If we find that, we win a prize. And I'm assuming the diamond could be on one of these backs. And then, depending on what is next to the diamond under prize, is how much you win. Game number two, find this symbol here. If that symbol is there, you win a prize. And if you win a prize, you multiply it by what the multiplier is. I'm assuming that applies to all of these games. Game number three is match the winning number to any of your numbers to win a prize. So that's the winning number. And if any of these three numbers matches that, then we win whatever the prize is. So that's a pretty cool one. Let's um, start with the first game here. So let's go down and see our symbols. So the first symbol, what is that? Well, it's not it, whatever that is. <laughs> win 
the multiplier so it could be a one times it could be a two times let's finish game three though i don't know if you can win twice on one card though so we're looking for my favorite number seven it's a lucky scratch card i guess we have an eight Horizontal line across the four 
cards to win the corresponding prize as shown in the prize table. So this is the, the prize table here. Okay, so I've done a quick look into exactly how I'm supposed to play this. And essentially, we have to get these numbers and scratch them off on each card. So for example, starting with 25, we have no 25 on this card. Card number 2, there's a 25 right here, so we scratch that off. And we do this for every number that we have here. And if we make a horizontal line, then we win the corresponding prize as shown in the table. So, let's take a look. 25 on this card. It's actually hard to, to look. I don't think there is one on that card. And then this card. There is no 25. However, on each card, we do have a free slot right in the middle which is quite nice, so we'll scratch them off. And then once we've done that, we move on to the next number, which is 63, which is not on that card. And it's not on that card. It is on this card. Scratch only the letters. 
letters in each block that match your letters. Blocks. If following step two, you complete a full block, win the prize shown on that block. You can win up to six times on a ticket. Okay, so what we need to do is we have different words here. Dub, drop, pen, city, boy, radio, stew, renew, push, coin, leg, and cause. Now assuming that the fewer letters are more likely to win, we're hoping that these prizes are the bigger ones. <laughs> but I'm assuming the higher letter words are going to be the higher prizes. But first, let's reveal what our letters are. So, first up... I'm so bad at scratching. Where is the letter? It's not even there. Maybe some of them don't have letters, I don't know. Ah, okay, no, it's just they're split weirdly, so we have a Z. Do any of them have a Z? It doesn't seem like it. Nope. So the next letter. Ah, okay, so maybe there wasn't a letter there, or it starts a little bit in. So we have an L and an A. Any L's? Any A's? There's an A in radio. L or A. Cause has an A. Leg has an L. And that's it for them. So let's go on to the next letter. Which is a D. Dub. Um, city. And I think that's it. Next letter. N. So we have the N in pen. Renew. And coin. Okay. Next letter. Q. Well, none of them have a Q. <laughs> of course. A Q and a Z. Is a very good letter to get. We have pen. We have so. We have two in renew. That's very nice. We have calls with an E on the end. Leg with an E in the middle. So if we get a G, we've completed this card. Or this prize. This is actually going to be a longer video than I expected. We have an R and an H. Let's do them at the same time. R and H. R. Radio. R and H. R and H. R and H. Renew. So renew, we need a W. H. Okay. To the next line. We have a P drop pen. Okay, so we have completed pen, so we've won a prize. Let's find out what it is. We won three pounds. Very nice. So we have push. though. We have a K. I don't think there's K in any of them, right? No. Let's clear this up a bit. I think that's a D, is it? I think there's a few. Radio. And was there any more? Yes, drop. Okay, so if we can... Oh, we've won another one. That would be good for radio as well, and coin. So we need a G, or an O, ideally. X, I don't think there was any X, was there? 
shell. There's a shell there. Can you get multiple on each card? Like, is there another shell? No. No shell on that one either. Next symbol, a plane. Gosh. No plane on that one. And there's a plane at the top on that one there. It's gold. Next, a sun hat. There's none on that one. And none on that one. I have to keep double checking though. I'm so sorry about my eyesight. Okay, next, coins. Coins, 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 coins. I don't see any coins. No. So we move on to snorkel, which there is one on both. Then we have pound symbol. which I saw. We have one here. And just that one, it seems. Next up, we have camera. No more cameras. Then we have Pam. There is a Pam right here. Are we close to completing any lines? We have a couple twos. No threes yet. So next symbol is a crab, I think that is. We got that crab and there's none on the top one. Next is sandals. I thought they were peanuts. Oh my gosh. Or hot dogs. <coughs> That's embarrassing. Not on the bottom one. Um, a wad of cash. None on that one. And none on that one. Flippers would be very good. Oh no, there is one on the top one. I apologize. So if we get flippers, we win on that one. But, spoilers, we can see there's no flippers. Um, no wad of cash on that one. So next is lotion. Just like a little bottle. Don't see on the top one. Is that lotion? I think so. Right. I hope so anyways. Then anchor. And no anchor on the top one. Then we have a ring. None on the top one. And then we have passport. What the heck does a passport look like? Okay. It's on that one and that one. And the last symbol is the fingers crossed symbol, which is on this one. So, as I thought so, we didn't win anything on this card. Very close if we had a guitar, a sailboat, flippers, a heart. Um, oh wait, there is a sun hat on this one. I'm very sorry I missed that, but it, it doesn't make much of a difference because we didn't have a sun or a guitar. If we had a guitar, we would have had two wins. So, a bit unlucky with that card, but what would the multiplier have been? Oh, five times as well. That would have been nice, but again, another L. But that brings
brings us to our final two cards, which are the big ones. The five pound cards. This ought to be exciting. Let's start with this one here. So, how does this one work? Let's take a look. So those are the prize you could win. Overall odds of winning are approximately one in three. Scratch off all the coding. Bonus game, find a, a fingers crossed to win a prize. Game one, match either of the winning numbers to any of your numbers to win a prize. Find a wad of money to win the prize shown automatically. So if we find a wad of money, we instantly win, but we're trying to match to any of our numbers. And then game two, in a row, match three identical symbols to win a prize. Match three double to win double the prize for that roll, or match three triple to win triple the prize. A player can win up to 20 times on a ticket. Gosh. Okay. Let's find what our winning numbers are. My favorite number seven and two. So we're looking to find a seven and a two, I believe. That's all. They don't have to be like seven and two. It can just be a seven or it could just be a two. Yeah, match either of the winning numbers to any of your numbers. Okay, so we're looking for a seven or a two. 25, 17, 8, 16, 37, <laughs> multiply your prize by the multiplier. 
player number shown a player can win up to 12 times on a ticket so let's go roll number one our winning number 47 nope we got a 48 though Sleep well, everybody, and a good night.